was, let's occupy the legislature. I heard something yeah, in there about yeah. that, and I heard a lot of claps at that one, so that must be a popular one, so we should start discussing that idea. Um, so, uh, the next person that we have coming up, uh, we have Savannah Ricard from the U of M Theater Department. Uh, it's going to be doing a monologue, and I don't know, do you want to do it on here, or do you no. you're just doing it? She's just going to do it. So come in close where you can hear what's being said and get ready. He was kind. And he treated me like a lady. And he called me every morning just to find out if I was okay. And he kept waking me up. So I said, wouldn't it be easier if I was just sleeping next to you? That way check if I was okay without waking me up. But he said his parents were very religious. They'd die if their son was living in sin. And, and then he asked me to marry him. The thing is, the thing is, I knew. I knew he was gay when I married him. I've always known saw him, he was with another man. He doesn't know, obviously. He doesn't know. I just wanted a husband, and I knew Gavin needed a wife for appearances, for his family, for his work. Gavin will never have the courage to come out, so he will look after me and the kids. This way, I can stay home while my husband goes off to work. And the kids can have everything they need. A perfect, happy family. You know? Two parents, two kids. Everything perfect. Except that he's gay. But that doesn't worry me. I mean, I know he'll be safe. And I don't really care if he goes out and has boyfriends. And I'm happy this way. All the other men I've dated, they're just after sex, and when I wouldn't. If you and that interfering, mothering, smothering, holier than thou sister of mine hadn't interfered, everything would have been just perfect. She always has to interfere. She always has to be better than me and cleverer than me. Gavin will be the perfect father, and he is the perfect husband. He works hard, he looks after me, and he doesn't bother me to do stuff with him all the time. He even enjoys shopping. It's perfect, you know? But now you've gone and given Gavin a conscience. Why the fuck did you have to go and ruin everything?
understand these are adolescent fantasies. I don't need a man wrapped around me and in bed, warming the sheets on freezing nights. And I am perfectly content to eat, not chicken, but a single artichoke and an isolated glass of wine. I like to open doors. Fires are cliched. Poetry does not need to be shared. And I adore cotton underpants that make me look like a female wrestler. Gay, straight, black, white, one struggle, 